Hello and welcome to the Gonzo Ewok channel with me, Ewok. And me, Gonzo. For another episode of Prison Architect. I thought you were going to do that bit. No, no, we agreed before I hit record that you would do the introduction. All I have to say is... No, I would, I, would, I would start the introduction. It's coming, yeah. Just kill the fool. Kill no, the he's, fool. he's just unconscious. What a way to start an episode. He had a go at the teacher. So, this one, realistically, is probably going to be a little bit shorter. We've got a massive backlog of sod, as you can see. Um, we do need to get that into the prison so we can put the yard out. But basically, all we're looking at doing here is finishing touches. Uh -huh. um, in terms of the valuation of the prison, I mean, you've got the overlay up. I never like the overlay. Get rid of that. Um, if we have a look at the reports and the valuation, because somebody escaped. Oh no, hang on. It's going up, but we've still it got is. the. Oh yeah, that, that must have been 24 hours ago. Fantastic. And so that's passed. So we're now 260 grand, but since we've got an intake coming in, we can get up to 76 prisoners. We want those guys coming in because then if we decide to keep playing um, and you guys want to see more of it, Ewok's going to take over and he's going to use the cash that I get from this prison to build the next one. What I think we should do is maybe mix it up. So maybe if you do like a female only prison or aim for like just max sec or do something a bit different. Or a death row prison or something yeah, like that. I've yeah, yeah, we'll mix it up. But again, suggestions in the comments for that. So this one's probably, as I said, a little bit shorter, but it's literally just to get things in a decent position and we figured rather than just like start a new episode and say oh yeah we made 250 grand would actually just play it out as a little mini video bit of extra content for the channel um, for you guys that will enjoy right there's only one thing I think you need to do look at that says it all um, I think you need to go to rooms and I think you need to set a temporary place to dump all those materials that are coming in for the um, building you, work you did say that didn't you and um, just after we finished recording, when we saw my pile coming in. Uh huh. Um, what we shall do, storage, 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 storage. Yeah, I'm not sure that's enough, mate. Um, it'll be look, enough to get at, it going. Look at how much stuff there is to come in. It's fine, look, because they'll put it up there. I know that storeroom's fairly full. Um, oh, that's all right. I'll clean those corridors. Um, you know what we forgot to do? Um, What's that? Play around with the resolution to the point where it wasn't taking up most of the screen again. If you look, the emergencies and free fires still, still over that mangled. One. Maybe they aren't like that on the final recording. I Maybe. bet there will be. You reckon? There's a chance. If you don't know what we're talking about, the buttons down here are mashed up. They might be like that when you're watching this, or they might not. I don't, I don't know. Well, if you're just building it, um, you should probably speed up. up. And uh, then uh, we can get it all done. See, I had this problem... Um, Last time I played, built a massive prison mm -hmm. uh, based on the money I got from selling my old prison. And I tried to build it all before I brought any inmates in. Uh, and then I had this massive backlog of trucks. But it caused a real problem because the workers were wanting to take stuff off like trucks at the back first. Yeah, yeah, so and they're walking all the way up here. Well, no, they just they weren't even taking it. They were just waiting for the truck to come, but the truck never came because there were trucks in front of it that needed empty. Oh, right. It was so horrendous. Path and AI problem then. Yeah, big so, path and AI problem. Um, it was like a big problem with the game when it um, was still in development. You still get the odd little quirk, but it's way, way better. Um, getting the grass down, that's good to see. Um, you know what? Well, actually, we're managing this all right. I've, yeah, it seems to be going quite well. You might not have even workers. needed that extra storage area. But it's, it's doing okay. So but where's your next intake? Um... Prisoner intake, 15, 15 hours. 15 hours. We've got things speeding up. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't going to be the shortest episode in the world. It's not like a little three-minute special like one of our Kerbal shorts. Which I haven't done any in a while. But we're just getting back into Kerbal, really. Yeah, I'll get into doing um, some Kerbal shorts. Because, uh, well, we never did many to start with. But the few that we did proved quite popular. Uh, well, People nice. like to see little snapshots of I've experiments tried. and ship builds and I've stuff I've tried like that. to build this. It didn't work. That's how most, you do of, it. most of my Kerbal shorts did work. I built the very simple one that um, I think we ended up using a very similar design where I experimented with a, a multi-satellite launcher where you sent one ship up and then like three or four satellites split off it uh, and then you could zip those satellites around. And, I think we ended up using that design in the main, the main Another series. video that was supposed to be a Kerbal short but it turned into an actual episode was when I tried to do the challenge run. Gonzo's challenge run where you nearly bankrupted our space programme yeah. in about 15 minutes. We were at a party last week and that was still being discussed it by was, yes. uh, a couple of our pals that uh, watched the channel. It was it was a good episode in hindsight. At the time I was absolutely furious at you. I was, I was furious at myself, mate. I wouldn't worry. 
Okay, so we've cleared that backlog quite nicely. We didn't even need that storage. So it transpires. Um, you know what, though? I'm going to leave that there. Just because it's handy to have. You could change it to and exports. Actually, rather than storage. Maybe nobody's using the workshop because you haven't set up any exports. You know what? That's not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea. Somebody's found scissors. Exports. Exports. Maybe that's happens. why nobody's been doing anything in the workshop. Find some wood in. Putting on the floors at a very quick rate. It's a very small common room for 76 people. It is, yes. But um, they've got a big yard. Hi. Get all that grass in. That's that's something quite nice. That's a big old yard. Lovely old yard. Lovely old yard. We could pop something down there as well. But then um, I don't know what. A lovely old tree. A lovely old tree. Put a lovely old tree down. Lovely old tree. Everyone likes trees. It doesn't look like a tree. It's a sapling. Sapling. That's tiny. It's a potted plant. <laughs> I ordered a tree. You've delivered a tiny fern. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we need in there. Uh, would this sit on benches? Put some benches down in the yard. Yeah. I think your dog's found some poison on one of the prisoners. Well, that'll happen. Oops, someone has been spewing the ring out all over the prison. Probably the guy who was poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> he can trace his steps. He drank the poison here, and then he staggered his way down to get a nice bit of bacon. To be fair, the poison was probably put in the food. Oh, yeah. That... <laughs> and then he walked back from the canteen. That's quite clever. Think, thinking logically about it, it's probably more likely happened that way. He probably didn't think, oh, being sick, well, I really wanted some bacon. <laughs> so we've got eight hours left, we're at 15, so we're probably about halfway through, um, seeing what happens. Um, to the best of my knowledge, we haven't had any more major incidents. No. No, there was the fight with the guards at the beginning where, where someone got chinned. Yeah, but I mean, that, that doesn't count as an incident. Nobody died. Nobody escaped. If, if nobody dies, it doesn't count as an incident. Oh, I'll tell you what I was going to do, um, just for completeness sake. Dog patrol. Well, you, can, you can still have it going while that's going on. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Dog patrol. Around here. Um, we'll have a couple. I don't know what we're... You need to recruit a couple more, I think. Aye. You know what? That's fine. You're only making quite a bit of money, to be fair. Yeah, it's not bad. a day. I'm spending the cash um, that I'm sure you would like me to keep a hold of. Tunnel. It's, it's an investment. Tunnel. You know what? See? See? Guard dog sent them around the outside. He's not there yet. That's not a person there. It is. That's no, it a is. dog handler. They found a tunnel. Or oh, they found the, the workings of a tunnel. Aye. So. Stop aye. pausing things. There's a there's a bloody tunnel. Why aren't they doing anything about it? Because I think your guy's marked it to be investigated. Right. I think. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. It's very dark. Send a guard over there or send a construction worker over there or something. Um, well, that's what I was doing. You do it through this uh, menu here. Remove tunnels. But, um... Yeah, but I'm just suggesting that you send someone over there and see oh, if sending right. them over there okay. does something. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I'm going to have to pause it for a second. So I, can click. I need to click on a guard. Watch. Okay, okay, that's an anti-climax. But look at that one. He's really quick. <laughs> I couldn't click on them. Yeah, but you could click on the incredibly slow-moving one. Where are you going? Somebody... He's having a look around. He's checking shit. Right. Have a look. Should trust that your staff know what they're doing. But they don't. And he's obviously put the flag there for a reason. Aye. Nobody is doing anything. Somebody will do something. How's the fence looking? I think the fence is complete, you know. Looks like it. It's quite dark though. Yeah. Um. Alright. What are we doing? <gasps> three hours three hours and there's going to be a lot of people coming in oh, that'll be nice more in. 37 people Whew, you guys are going to be busy well that's okay we'll manage did you put any lights in the new cells I think so one more putting yeah one more putting yeah, there. there's lights there there isn't any in here though there's, there's somebody having a, a 
Paddy at the door to one of the new cells. Where is that? Right in, right in the centre of your screen. I don't see anybody kicking off. Right in the centre of your screen, there's a... This is the centre of the screen. Up. Here. Up. Right there. Right there. In front of a sniff. Little dog. I thought you meant like a prisoner kicking off. No, no. Um, oh, look, the flag's gone. He must have done something. Yeah, he's walked straight by it. But I am liking this idea of having the, the dog having to go sniff around the outside of everybody's cells. Just to keep an eye on things. Um, if I was playing longer term, I'd put snipers in each of the corners because it would look gnarly as fuck. And a proper perimeter wall rather than a fence. Yeah, but I mean, as I said, they're like 200 a square. Um, very, very expensive. And you know what? Like, a fence does just as well, frankly. Ooh, prisoner intake. Here they are. I'm going to slow this down just to see how it goes. That's 75 out of 76, but you know what? I think that'll do the trick nicely. That must be like a maximum amount that comes uh, in at any one time. Them all off. Line them up, boys. Ganger. Another ganger. Another ganger. Are you sure they're gang members? <laughs> yeah, when they've got they face... haven't just got horrible skin conditions. Nah, face tattoos means gang banger. Looks like a. Uh, oof. Alopecia. There's more. Oh, 76. Well, there. Got another chap um, with possibly a turban. Possibly, possibly a turban, possibly a, a haircut yeah. or a hat. Um, We're still not sure. Oh my god, they just ran that poor fella over. Did you see that? Yeah, well, life's tough in prison. Uh, as long as I'm not pushing them out in front of the bus. Okay, you know what? That's that's not bad. Look at my cash now. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. What's that noise? Is anyone using the other shower? Um, yeah, somebody's kicked off in their big style. Damaged stuff, dirty. Yeah, I, actually, I think it's being used as we speak. We just don't have anybody keeping an eye on it. Yeah, you need some CTTV in there. Um, if you put one against the back wall, get rid of that shower head. Uh, then it would be able to see into the... But you know what? I mean, we're doing this. Yeah, they don't want to go in there. Shit is kicking off in there. Um, find a guard. Find a guard. Nobody dies. This close to the end. Potential end, I should Hope, say. Hopefully they're just uh, just breaking stuff and not breaking heads. I don't know. That It was saying it was too dangerous to go in. Yeah, he's going look on Acapulco. Somebody else is taking some drugs. Not good. But, um... Where's me, where's me guards? I said go in there. They're coming. Look at him just sauntering his way over. He's got a shotgun to carry. It's very heavy. Get a shimmy on. He's an armed guard. He's meant to move quickly with a shotgun and use it. Sacriel, he didn't escape. Glad we're um, you, you guys getting the shit kicked out of him, you know? Where? Where? In the shower? Up here? Yes. Oh, he won. Of course he did. It's fine. But you're just ignoring him as the big flashy warning combat. Because I wanted is. Mr. Shotgun to come up, take care of it. There you go. Everything's fine. Nobody died. So let's. Is, have ev a is everything built in the in the yard now? Uh, Two hundred and sixty. Got some cash coming in. Yard is done. So what tower? He's off to get a gun. Oh, that's all right. Probably should have put him near the armory. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm I'm fairly happy with that to be honest, mate. I think that's it. It's a shame that the there's there's still more we could do with it if we needed to. But there's nothing that needs doing to it there, really. That's a decent sized prison. You could do loads of micromanagement, get loads of stuff ready. There's uh, see that picture over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, just I like clicking on them. He is like the dude from King of the Hill. I stand by that. Not Boomhauer. He was the one that was all gibberish and blonde. Forget that that, that guy's name. Stephen. Um, call him, yeah, Dave. Um, so, I'll tell you what. We'll leave this here for now and let me know in the comments it's on my Facebook page what we need to do. Zoom out. Get the full view. That's not a bad prison, you know, mate. That's not a bad prison at all. That's a hell of a cell block. Uh, I'm quite, I like this sort of self-contained sort of self design. I think that works quite nicely. Um, seems like the, the floor prisoners around it work quite nice. Um, 
like this the yard being in the middle so during yard time people aren't throwing shit into them like they were down here until they fixed it only kind of regret that I've got aside from the deaths which I don't really regret is that is, the workshop never really got up and running yeah although you know what I think they're doing their practice there it would just and you know what that's not through bad design that's not the best workshop in the world it's just purely that we didn't have people passing the health and safety course that they needed to do it but if we keep at it eventually some would and we'll keep working on it so I mean this prison has an interest in the future really gang members turning up you can imagine that uh, issues around sort of the gangs in prisons would be of, of interest um, of the, the different gangs that are there. The Red Gang seems to be the one that's slowly edging it, but nobody's killed anybody and nobody's getting cash. Um, so they're more or less under control. Basically. But Unlike anyway, the rest of your inmates. Like I was saying, though, I think we should wrap this up for now. If people really want to see this prison carry on, well, we'll buy out public opinion and we can do that. However, I'm, I'm personally of the opinion that if we are going to continue Prison Architect, you should take over using the cash that we get from the sale of this prison. Or if people are sick of prison architect, we can put this on hiatus and, and we can play something, something else. else. Always come back to it. What I will do, just as we're talking, because I didn't save it at the end of the last recording, to save it now, so I don't forget. There we are. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers Bye-bye. and goodbye. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Geordie Space Programme. If you would like to watch some Prison Architect, you can click to your left. If you'd like to watch one of our podcasts or listen to it, Click on the right. And of course, if you haven't already, we always appreciate it when people subscribe. Thanks again and bye-bye.